Indonesia is now within reach of joining upper middle income countries. JICA is actively supporting Indonesia in enhancing the country's capacities to address challenges of Asia and the international community. These include cooperation in responses to global issues, such as environmental issues and infectious diseases, the security of Southeast Asia, such as maritime safety and cybersecurity, and South-South cooperation, in which Indonesia provides assistance to other developing countries. Let's take a look at each. While Indonesia has rich tropical rainforests, its forestry and land use sector emits large amounts of greenhouse gases. The country holds the key to global climate change countermeasures. In this area, JICA has supported Indonesia in various ways. Mitigation of forest fires, policy formulation on climate change, and the promotion of geothermal power development these projects are implemented through technical cooperation, ODA loans, and other means. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
というそういう意味合いが非常にあるというふうに思います。Indonesia is a maritime country like Japan. In addition to cooperation for port construction, JICA has provided cooperation in maritime safety for many years, including developing the maritime telecommunication system and educating seafarers. Currently, JICA is implementing a technical cooperation project to train operators of the Vessel Traffic Services System, or VTS. The VTS was built by Japanese Grant Aid. The project supports Indonesia to fulfill its role of securing the safety of the Malacca and Singapore Straits, where ships from around the world sail through. JICA has also provided cooperation to six maritime schools in Indonesia for development of facilities and equipment and improvement of education and training programs. Advancements in IT make information security indispensable. JICA is working together with Indonesia for protection of critical information infrastructure and capacity building for cyber attack response. To respond to cyber attacks across the border, the project strengthened the capabilities of not only Indonesia, but also neighboring countries such as Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar. Having hosted the Asian African Conference in Bangdung in 1955, Indonesia has a long history of assisting other developing countries. Along with economic growth, opportunities for South-South cooperation is increasing. In South-South cooperation, Indonesia utilizes the knowledge gained from JICA's cooperation. For instance, in the field of agriculture, Indonesia is providing over 20 countries in Asia and Africa with its expertise in artificial insemination for livestock such as livestock hygiene and breeding techniques. Nah, harapan kami tentu uh, kami bisa terus uh, bekerja dengan baik dengan apa yang telah diajarkan oleh uh, JICA tersebut. Uh, kita, kami transfer ke negara-negara tersebut dan uh, lewat teknologi inseminasi buatan ini kita bisa membangun peternakan tidak hanya di Indonesia tapi di negara-negara berkembang yang lain. In the health and medical care sector, the maternal and child health handbook was introduced in the 1990s through Japanese cooperation. Since 2007, Indonesia together with JICA has been holding the third country training for 14 countries including Palestine and Afghanistan. Indonesia Indonesia is now contributing to the world by addressing global issues, working for regional security, and providing South-South cooperation. Indonesia and Japan will continue to cooperate and actively engage in finding solutions to global challenges.